Hello, um, I'm Nick and this is Brad and we're working with another three people on our project Get Locked. And basically the idea of Get Locked is to make a remote controlled locking device system to allow access uh, remotely via the cloud. So, um, the, the problems we want to solve with this system was number one, remote access which could be on a home use. So for example, I know someone's coming to my house and held up at work. I can just go onto this product, put it with my app, I just open the door and they're let in. The number two is permitting temporary access. So this could be used, for example, in a environment where I have a guest. I can allow them to use, use my app. I grant them access to my house for a while over the app. And in that period of time, they're able to enter the house whenever they want without actually having to physically give them the key. Um, the next is centralized system with a dashboard overview would be, for example, in warehouses or storage systems. So you could look at all locks, how they've been open and closed, and we also have a sensor to see how many people have gone in and out. So this could also be used in security systems with the monitoring device on top of it. Um, so... Um, markets that we looked into was uh, shared office spaces, uh, one of the biggest providers being Regis. So we looked at their stock price, which has uh, quadrupled in the last 10 years. And it's, it's moving to that market more and more because of frequent flyers trying to look for office space that they can use. So this would be a potential market that we could go into. And they already have 1,800 business centers in 100 countries. Um, other than that would be, for example, also temporary access, things like Airbnb. So I want to let someone into my house for a while, but I want to make sure that they, that I don't have the problem, are they giving me the key back, do I get it back, I can just lock off the, the system and they don't have access anymore. So that would be, for example, with Airbnb, that have 20 million guests, 800,000 listings in 190 countries. Um, so this would be a one-step system where I just, um, I could, they can tell by GPS, we can tell where the person is. The, a push notification comes, all I need to do is unlock it on my phone like you would with a Facebook message that goes directly to the message. Unlock it and I've already unlocked the door by putting in my code. Another feature to it would be that I can uh, provide other people with keys and via the app also control that and lock the keys or unlock the keys whenever I like. So at this point we would have liked to present a prototype um, which is an actual physical door that we built with a physical lock that we 3D printed, so thanks for the ILS for the great help. Um, we hooked up that uh, lock um, to a motor that is linked to um, a Galileo board, um, hooked up to, electric, um, to a server in the cloud that anyone can access, so we have a proof of concept that the remote access control actually works. We implemented that, uh, showed it. We have a small video later because the device couldn't be brought here, obviously. Um, yes, and that's what we've built. And the final product, as we've already highlighted, um, would obviously provide a centralized <coughs> cloud-based solution for managing users and access, but we would also provide um, an NFC chip for like just local authentication so an internet connection isn't um, required permanently. And obviously, um, we will use high-level security using public uh, key, uh, private public key encryption. Um, so that just really quickly, because I already saw the one minute sign, uh, product differentiation, we've got competitive pricing, we'd also be using at the moment, all competitors are using Bluetooth, which causes a lot of problems, so let's talk about it in the question section. <laughs> So your key differentiator is the, the fact you're not using Bluetooth, is that right? Your existing solutions. Um, that's one thing. Um, we don't use uh, Bluetooth, but we uh, rely on an internet connection of NFC because current uh, solutions drain a lot of ener uh, energy. They're battery based. You have to replace the battery every couple of weeks or months, and we want to provide uh, longer term support. And secondly, 
uh, most systems are not really secure, neither from an encryption perspective, nor actually physically, because there are videos out there from existing remote control blocks where you can jam in a screwdriver and simply open the door. So while you have fancy remote access control, that's not actually secure. Don't you have access to main square? Um, most of the time, you probably will have, so that would be one solution, but you may have use cases in which it's not possible. Just if you don't want to like, <coughs> rewire everything to the door. But won't you need mains for, to operate the lock itself? The um, no, because you can make uh, the uh, actual power consumption of the more direct parts so low that it could run on a sub like, sufficiently strong battery for a couple of months to years. But you, you're, you're going to have to take the door apart with the lock in, so it's not so to to run a wire right? No, the idea was also that we would provide a lock piece that would one, one time would be a lock piece that you build in separately, and along would be the fits on your local lock system that you have at the moment. So, so to answer your question, um, if you integrate in with the existing system, you're only the same lock, same place, you have like, you know, um, a magnetic uh, uh, solenoid or something. You're only uh, changing control of that, so yes, it can still run the main power. So you're only changing that, you're linking it together. And then you can integrate with that. So just my question was, if you've got main power, you don't have power problem. So you can come to this same part. Well, oh. Oh. So I have a use case. No, as a special microphone. So, you know, you know, the idea of not using Bluetooth to save power? No, on top of that, it's also reliability. So the problem with Bluetooth is you have to have Bluetooth that printed on the phone. And our main thing when we started this was that we want to make it as easy as unlocking a key with this like the door with a key. We don't want to have to go into an app, turn on Bluetooth, then unlock the door. So the idea is that we can just come in. So it's the it's the power on your phone that's going to be dying if you've got Bluetooth on the whole time. Oh, so otherwise, you have to go in, unlock your phone, put Bluetooth on, then unlock the door. Yeah, great prototype, by the way. But um, that was the concept, obviously. What's the final product looking like? Or so what, what I would be to have two products. One would be where you physically replace the entire lock. So that would be like how it would work with the with the prototype that we're having at the moment, except of course we wouldn't have such a simple lock. We'd try and work to get a secure lock that you could uh, steer system. And um, actually if we can see go on to the end. Uh, so we actually still had product pricing. So we would product price it for businesses and consumers differently. So you could have the unit is 120 and then you have service fees on top of that. So for businesses it could be that you pay per you get 23 users, and then every 20 on top of that, you would pay uh, a 10 euro annual fee. And what we would then do is if you go to the very end. No. There we go. Um, so our idea was we modeled from this, we were doing with home units and business units. And what we wanted to do is try and provide it for businesses, mainly, like that was our main focus. So we took a revenue model where we had 70% businesses, 30% home use. And from that, we got these annual profits taking that on average businesses had 100, so we were aiming at SMEs, 100 employees, so 100 users, and got these figures. Uh, you said Bluetooth was a problem for the phone side? Or? I'm sorry, I'm my phone, the Wi Fi is on constantly, and Bluetooth uh, is normally less consuming, so I'm just. What kind of information you based that statement on? Um, so, for example, there's a prototype at the moment, uh, there's a product at the moment that we're also supported by Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. And not only do they have problems with battery life, but also, for example, if I'm standing away from the door, I can't open it. So, the idea is that we can do remote access a lot better. So, okay. I can't. There are certain use cases, for example, if I want to let someone in from far away, where it isn't going to work for me. Do you remember the name, name of this project? Um, there was uh, Kivo Lock, was one of the products. and. There was another three competitors, but that were all Bluetooth based. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, just, just, just one thing on the energy is that we're going to try and <coughs> see this. I think it's a new technology which is going to be ideally suited. It's a low power usage. In the future, a lot more mobile phones are going to go <coughs> using this technology. And there's other companies, larger companies out there that are going to be using NFC for this type of device. So we want to get it to market quick with an NFC type solution. On the product, which will ultimately solve some of the power problems and issues that current technology has. Thank you.